Uh, I think it would be um, when we took Audrey's Bernstein private. We were uh, a major part of a public company and at the end of 2009 we went private and that was at the back end of the financial crisis. It was, it was risky, one had to put money on the table and back herself and back the team um, and that, that really set us up for the next phase but that was a pivotal moment. no regrets. I, th I think all of the complete howlers, all the mess ups that I've made in life, personal or business, actually then, then form you in, in the that's part of growing up and becoming wiser. So really, honestly, no, no regrets, however awful it felt at the time. I, I think one's been better for making those mistakes. If if uh, the whole world could know that it was an absolute and total truth, I'd like to know how much time we've got to, to fix the environment. Um, because I've got a horrible feeling ours is the generation that, that has really got to get to grips with that and a lot of people show up the responsibility uh, and the sacrifice that may, may require. So I think that would be a pretty good thing for mankind to know. Well, lot, lots of, I'm a pretty simple soul outside of work. I think uh, fa family and fresh air work pretty well for me. I suppose the things that people would find odd, uh, I've got a great passion for aerobatics, for flying, and um, I suppose that's a bit like a dog hanging its head out of the car window. It sort of cl clears the mind. You've got to concentrate so much on what you're doing that actually uh, there's no room for anything else, so that's quite a good, bizarrely deep de-stressor. But actually, time with family, time outside, you know, it's the simple things that work. Well, I think uh, Christmas party, I mean everybody loves a party, um, but uh, Christmas party for, for the firm, it's a great celebration of what we are as a company. We're, we're fortunate that we've had a, we, we've been performing very well. Um, so uh, I think that that's good fun. It's a celebration of our culture here, and it's quite sort of affirming. Um, so I think that yeah, that would be highlight. I'm, I'm very lucky in what I do. I meet some fascinating people, absolutely on top of their game. And um, but this week, yeah, the Christmas party. Well, I mean, this, this, this isn't very sophisticated. Walls Vianetta. I mean, I love the crunch. There aren't many things that are forever. It doesn't really matter, does it, stuff? Um, I Actually, I, I think this is very good. This is a Timex Expedition Camper Watch. It cost me less than 20 quid off Amazon. Very easy to tell the time. It's got a little little light on it. It's waterproof and it's lasts for ages. So, I think um, for 20 quid, that's a pretty good purchase. Uh, on the very odd occasion when I've tried to buy clothes on the internet, it's always been a total disaster. So, you know, it never fits. I don't know whether that says something about my shape or or me. But um, yeah, there, there are a host of online failures. I read history at university and it, it strikes me that um, each generation seems to forget painful lessons that previous generations have made and I'm sort of struck at the moment. So I, I, I think a little mini history documentary. Uh, I don't know whether it would be of the 1970s, you know, with, uh, with a sort of Corbyn threat, what it was like to be the sick man of Europe and how we got there. I think that would... I, I fear where we could make some of those mistakes again. Or maybe Europe in the 1930s, you know, what populist far-right politics can lead to. Um, so I think the world could do with a little bit more history um, and um, not make the same painful mistakes of previous generations.